I'm Katie Seaver of katieseaver.com and this week I want to talk about the insanely easy thing that you can do to make sure that you stop eating when you're full. So if you watched my video from last week, you know that I think that stopping when you're full is the radically simple way to make sure you don't overeat. Well, other people or other systems are all about, you know, eat a certain number of calories, eat a certain, only a certain amount of protein and fat, or eat only a certain number of points. I think that the, the most wonderful thing that you could do for your body and for yourself is just to trust that your body is capable of telling you when it's full. And that when it tells you that, that's when you should stop. But I know that for many of us, and for me for a really long time, that was easier said than done. It's easy to say, oh yeah, stop when you're full, but I always felt like I was kind of still overeating anyway. And that was really because I wasn't very in tune with my body's signals. There was so much other stuff that had gotten in the way over the years. So this week and next week, I wanna offer two different strategies for dealing with that. This week's strategy is what I call the insanely easy one. So the insanely easy way to make sure you stop eating when you're full is you need to be hungry to begin with. <laughs> and I know that sounds really insanely obvious, <laughs> but think about it. How often do you pass by the cabinet and end up eating a few cookies? Or are you in the break room and you're like, oh, I'll just have a tiny piece of this donut. Or I could really go for a coffee break right now. Maybe I'll get a small biscotti on the side. Anytime you start eating when you're not hungry, you will have no physical way of knowing when to stop because your body wasn't hungry to begin with. And the way that we sense fullness is by noting the contrast between hunger, when you feel empty or shaky or whatever, and fullness, when you don't feel that way. Of course, if you keep eating forever, like if you eat a dozen donuts, like, yeah, you're going to notice that you're full eventually, but it's going to take a lot longer to feel that contrast between like a neutral belly and a super full belly. And by that time, you're probably going to be feeling kind of gross. So, the much easier thing to do for yourself and the real gift that you can give yourself is instead of doing that, instead of starting to eat when you're not sure if you're hungry or not, the gift you can give yourself is to make sure you're hungry before you start eating. If you do that, it is so much easier to stop when you're full because it's crystal clear. So that's my tip for you this week. I hope you'll try it. I know it sounds really simple, but I would urge you to try it out in your own life and see how easily it comes. I hope you'll let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Uh, and if you like this video, that you'll check out katieseaver.com for more content just like this. Until next time.